Hello, this is uh, Team 7 programming code. Uh, this code is on about how TCP works. Uh, with that being said, let's get into it. The, this is our server code right here. Uh, what the server code is, uh, it connects, it's like the connecting end, basically. Uh, it sends information back and forth to the clients. And uh, uh, it, it also tends to act like an administrator. So basically, it's got a kill, strip, a kill switch basically to uh, uh, kill the connection it needed to. Uh, with the server thread, I also added a socket thread. With the uh, socket thread, uh, uh, it helps me make the connection be more accurate. So I ain't like um, talking to someone on the other side randomly. Uh, <clears throat> uh, with that, it helps me uh, to make the connection more accurate. It has ports and IP addresses that uh, that I can make, and, it's, and it makes it more accurate that way. And then with that, I have added um, a client thread, which is right here. The client thread uh, is basically where the users uh, will connect to the server and socket. Um, uh, the client is able to talk to the other side uh, of the other client or the user basically uh, it makes a uh, make sure that we are talking to the right person and we are um, uh, talking to them not not to some ran random stranger we make sure that we are talking to the right person at all time and with that being said uh, let's uh, run this real quick to give you a quick example of how this code works uh, first, we're going to run the server. As you can see, uh, there's a port number, four 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 four, and then we're going to and then we're going to run a client too. All right, here's the first one, and we're going to run a second one too, so we can have so we can so we can act like a uh, someone else is on the other side. All right, there we go. All right, I'm going to start this. All right, as you can see, it has already started. So there's a connection, but we need clients. So as you can see, the clients, uh, their port and IP addresses, I'm going to leave the IP addresses alone, but the port, uh, I'm going to keep the port as the same as the server. So for username, uh, let's just, uh, we can just go with a quick name, let's go with Jason, and we'll go with uh, Alex. Let's just sign in real quick. As you can see, Jason has, uh, basically he has joined the chat room. And then uh, let me sign into this one. All right, Alex is in the chat room now. As you can see uh, on the right hand side, uh, it's got names right here. And it tells you which one who uh, who's in this chat room right now. And let's just start with uh, Hey. All right, there we go. All right, and in the server, you can see who says what. Like, you know that Jason has said hey, and let's say Alex says hello. There you go. Does the exact same thing, and it sends them right back and forth. Now, if you were to make another server with a different port and, and a different client with the, that goes with that, same, with that different port, let's say 1234 and 1234. Oh, that's not four. Let's go and we'll just say his name is Tyler. Oh, uh, let's start that. All right, there we go. It started. And let's sign into that. All right. As you can see, earlier when you saw that I had an error, it's because I didn't start the server. So there was no connection at all. So, so the thing is, as a client, you would not get any connection if you didn't have the server, which was uh, uh, connecting. Uh, and then now we're here you see the ports are different all right let's just keep this right here all right uh, as uh, so I'm gonna type hey, hello, hey for Tyler and as you can see server 1234 like does not um, connect to port 44 4444 and so uh, it doesn't go into uh, Alex and Jason does not see what Tyler says to them. 
Uh, neither does uh, neither does Tyler C from them. If I was to say hey or what are you do doing? There you go. Only Jason and Alex can see it. Uh, with this, I can always uh, keep adding. I can add multiple uh, chat uh, clients into this one uh, server. It can it can like go on forever. And uh, this is uh, uh, another thing too. Like I said, the server tends to act. Uh, the reason why I say like the server kind of acts like a server. I mean, the admin is because it's like the connection between the two clients. If I was to stop it, then it shuts down the connection between Jason and Alex. So I won't be able to say anything like good. It just stops. And I'll do the same thing too. Cool. Does not go through because there this the server has been shut down and they have they cannot make any uh they cannot send any more messages back and forth. And uh this is uh team seven and a programming code and this is how code works and uh thank you.